and welcome back to Adaptive Parent Project. My name is Alicia and today I'm going to show you how my son Nolan helps me care for my service dog Duffy. And you're probably wondering, he's a two-year-old, how much is he able to help? But actually, I've developed a really awesome system because when I started training with Duffy about six months ago, I found it very hard to be able to care for both Nolan and Duffy at the same time and rest myself to the point where I was using, I was getting up before Nolan was waking and I was helping Duffy during nap time. So during all of Nolan's downtime, I wasn't able to rest and I was like, I have to come up with a different system. So I wanna show you what I do so that other parents out there who have service dogs can see what I do. Um, so that they're able to rest more during the day when their child is resting and not be so tired. So the first thing that I do is I put on Nolan's Clover Patch Harness that I discussed in a previous video. This is the walking harness that we use for him. And what I do is I put my seatbelt through his harness so that um, if we go over a bump or anything, he's safe and doesn't slide off my lap because safety is first, of course. So I'm going to put the seatbelt through. Mommy? Yeah, mommy puts your seatbelt through. Then we snap just like this. And then I have Duffy here. And I use a leash where he's not attached to my wheelchair because he is very strong. So in the case that he pulls and I need to let go, this way I can just be hands-free and let go. So. Follow us on our journey to take the dog outside. So the first thing I have Nolan do is I have him help me open the garage door. So Nolan, can you help Mama open the garage door? Pull down the bump car. He now unlocked the door. Good dog. Wish that. So then I unlock the door with the rest of the way with the child lock. And I make sure that Duffy is following behind me so that when I open the garage, he is still behind me and doesn't get distracted by what's in front of us. Duffy, follow. Let's water. Yeah, we'll get Duffy water after. After he goes to the bathroom. So then I leave the garage door opener on a shelf right here. I put my brakes on. And I open the garage. I'm just going to tuck the leash under my leg. No, my Duffy. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, fix it. Fix it, bud. Duffy, fix it. Duffy, fix it. Huh? Duffy. As you can see, Duffy gets distracted by what's outside. Duffy! Wait! Hold on, fix it! Fix it! Duffy! Okay. I'm going to help you because we want to get going, okay? So once I'm in the garage, I grab him with both handles so that he is close to me and doesn't try and pull in a different direction. So then Nolan goes for a little ride on my lap.
nothing better go. Then we head back to the house and I will show you the rest of our morning routine. Okay, bye. I found this really helped us because it got Nolan involved so that he felt like he was a part of the morning routine and it saved me a bunch of time because I didn't have to worry about waking before Nolan to try to get everything done before he woke up. Come on, Duffy. So after Duffy goes to the restroom, we get him some water. Go ahead, Duffy. Yeah. Bubbles. Duffy really likes his water in the morning. A bird. Yeah. Yes. Ha! Nolan, what are we gonna do after Duffy drinks his water? Are we gonna go feed him? Are you gonna help me? Yeah. yeah. Come on, Duff. It's all gone. He didn't drink the water all gone. There's still more. So now we head back into the house. Come on, Duffy. So when we're going into the house, I put Duffy in front of me. Front. Duffy. Front. Good boy. So that as I'm going in the house, he's not distracted by what's behind us. I close the garage. Duffy is going to help close the door behind me. Duffy! Tug! That's it! Good boy! Very good boy! Good job! Yay! Nolan is going to help me lock it again. Duffy is a very fast eater, so to prevent him from choking, we put his food in a maize bowl to help slow him down. Duffy, sit.
while Ducky is eating, I come close the food canister. And start the process of taking off Nolan's harness because we don't need it inside the house. Take it off. Oh, come, buddy. We have to wait till we get in the house, remember? So I'm going to put that here on the table for this time. And then Nolan and I go wait in the house for Duffy to be done with his food. And once Duffy is done, we let him in and then we start the rest of our morning routine for Nolan. This is how I take my service dog out daily and how I was able to change my routine to include my toddler so that I did not have to wake up ahead of him to get everything done before he woke up. Stay tuned for more videos from Adaptive Parent Project. And if you know anybody that would like to contribute, please send their videos our way. Thank you so much and stay tuned. Bye-bye.